Hi, I'm Tam O'Shaughnessy. I met Sally Ride and became her friend when we were girls playing competitive tennis in Southern California. Later, we were partners for 27 years until her death in 2012. Sally made history as the first American woman in space, but originally she thought about trying for a career in tennis. She started playing tennis when she was nine and was a talented and dedicated player. Ultimately, she decided to become a physicist, but tennis was so important to her life that the National Air and Space Museum has one of her rackets in their collection. Sally was finishing her PhD in physics at Stanford University when she read in the student newspaper that NASA was looking for new astronauts, and for the first time, women could apply. She knew immediately that she wanted to fly in space. NASA chose Sally as an astronaut candidate in 1978, along with five other women. As the first female astronaut assigned to a space shuttle crew, Sally was the focus of intense media attention. Reporters asked questions like, do you weep when things go wrong on the job? Sally stayed calm, gesturing toward her crewmate, Rick Houck, and replying, how come nobody ever asked Rick those questions? Sally blasted off aboard Challenger in 1983 to shatter NASA's gender barrier. She flew on Challenger again in 1984 and was training for a third mission in 1986 when Challenger exploded soon after liftoff, killing all seven crew members. Sally was heartbroken. Still, Sally served on the presidential committee that investigated the tragedy and also on the commission that looked into the 2003 Shuttle Columbia disaster. After leaving NASA, Sally became a physics professor at the University of California, San Diego. Together, she and I wrote six books about science for young readers. During this time, we were growing more and more concerned about the lack of women in science and engineering careers. We realized that girls need role models if they are going to succeed in these fields. Sally liked to say, you can't be what you can't see. In 2001, Sally and I joined with three friends to start a company called Sally Ride Science. We created programs to inspire girls and boys of all backgrounds in science, technology, engineering, and math. Today, Sally Ride Science is a thriving part of the University of California, San Diego, which carries on its mission. The year after Sally died, I was proud to accept the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the nation's highest civilian honor from President Obama on her behalf. More than just an astronaut, Sally was an inspiration to generations of young women and a champion of excellent science education for all students.